can see where Evil, Evil Geniuses, Geniuses is coming from there. Likely to be our DZ Zero. Gyrocopter, though, picked up by Demon Slayers. Is that going to be a mid gyro? Evil Geniuses doesn't have the greatest jump on you heroes right now, so Ten I think that's remaining. why they actually like the gyrocopter pick. Five seconds remaining. It, it feels like they're setting up for a last pick support, though, if you're Demon Slayers. Because, again, Old White played the Sand King last game. I, I figure Gyro and Lone Druid are going to be your cores. Crystal Maiden support, so maybe a position four last pick for Demon Slayers. <coughs> Something like a Wyvern is still on the board. Wyvern actually feels pretty strong here. You're dealing with Chen. You're dealing with Troll Warlord. Very good against him. Team ban. Evil Geniuses bans out Zeus for now, though. Interesting one there. Yeah, I do like the Winter Wyvern here for Demon Slayers. Ten seconds. Unless remaining. instead they're they're looking for an offlaner. Five seconds remaining. Slayer still has a lot of time left to think about who they want to ban. So this is game two of this series. Again, being two game series, no matter what here, we'll move on to what will be the final series of the night for Group B action. That being NIP versus No Escape. No Escape, uh, one of the two open qualifier teams. They lost to Zolotl earlier, two games to nothing. NIP, as mentioned, they won their series against Demon Slayers earlier today. So uh, certainly a match up there where you have a favorite team, but Anything can happen. Uh, that'll be the final series of Group B. And as of right now, that's, of course, what we're set to jump into next. <clears throat> no, because they're neutral once they're dominated. That's what I figured. Yeah, that, that, that's what I figured, but just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that would be a pretty big... You could almost, like, abuse that, I guess, if you were a Chen yourself, and as far as, like, killing your own creeps and trying to farm that way. <laughs> I don't know if you could abuse that necessarily. I don't know, but, yeah, no, it makes sense that that's not the case. Demon Slayer is using all their time Radiant for their final ban and pick. They settle for the Magnus ban. Magnus has been a pretty popular pick today. We've mentioned that. Evil Certainly a good combo with Troll Warlord. Enigma. Ooh, the Enigma coming out for Demon Slayers. All right. There's that black hole presence now. Um, they do not have the greatest ways to deal with black hole. Well, I guess they have Doom. <laughs> uh, Doom itself is potentially pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, we get an Abed Meepo, and no one was disappointed. Woo! The crowd goes wild. Sorry, I'm just I'm getting a little giggity here. Not many times you get the chance to cast an Abed Meepo. <clears throat> love it. Absolutely love it. Um... It, it is one of those things where it's like, in theory, on paper, whatever you want to say, AoE damage is okay for Demon Slayers. It's pretty good, in fact. <laughs> but when you have a very good Meepo player, sometimes that just doesn't matter. Um, he could be that pickoff artist, get those kills. Before. Ideally, Evil Geniuses is going to be trying to avoid team fights, of course. Uh, team fighting is not what they want against this composition. They want to play the pickoff game, and they, they definitely have a great team makeup for that. 
and that's where Abed's going to look to shine. Uh, he is going to be matched up against the Gyrocopter, which, again, I would think he's he's just fine with that. Um, I, I feel like that, that could potentially be one of those back-and-forth matchups there. Uh, what did Meepo get in this patch, if anything? Uh, level 10 talent increase from 15 to 20 damage, and level 15 talent increase from 30 poof damage to 40 poof damage. So he did get a couple of talent buffs right there. Whether or not those are the ones you would take, I, I'm actually not sure. But just to make it clear, what uh, Meepo received in the latest patch. But boy, oh boy, I am I excited. All right, game two, the Abed Meepo. We'll see what it can do against Demon Slayer's very good team fight composition. Cost ability of playing that Lone Drew we've mentioned. Lone Drew, one of the bigger buffs of the patch as far as the shift and win percentage goes. But, of course, public games certainly much different than competitive games. <laughs> <laughs> Interface is good. There we go. Right, so this time, Demon Slayer will be on the Radiant as EG on the Dire. God, this is going to be crazy, too, seeing uh, neutral items on this Meepo. Obviously, with how fast you can farm that jungle post five minutes as well. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing he's going to be looking to farm some heavy neutral items. Yeah, even things like that, uh, the plus five attribute one with the health regen. If you can find one of those early on, that's going to be huge. Obviously, there's many. That'll be great. The hiring talent he would love, the poor man shield. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that as far as these uh, neutral <laughs> items look for the Meepo. Just what I was waiting for. Just what you were waiting for. Just what you were waiting for. How you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. So Flea's setting up to deny creeps here with the demonic conversion. Okay, I'm guessing I know that it's going to end up mid. Going to deny creep from the top lane. Not going to help out his mid there. The battle begins. He's instead going to go for the top lane. There you go. Takes away the range creep. Fortunately missed the block. Don't know if that was the intention or not. But either way, Gyrocopter flying over to mid and is getting some nice assistance from Crystal Maiden in terms of blocking. Oh, missed that there, but makes up for it. However, Abed looking pretty damn good on his side when it comes to the block. He's going to favor Abed. The lone druid with the orb of venom on the pair. You see the bear though, they're just hitting the hell out of it. There's three heroes down here for evil geniuses. The Chen paired up with the Dark Willow and the Troll Warlord. They're not gonna let Lone Druid have a good time early on. Set up for Abed to have a solid time in the mid lane and eventually take off, of course. So certainly like the idea from Evil Geniuses. Sand King, it's like, okay, whatever, if you do well, not the biggest deal in the world necessarily. Denied. And also he's up against a Doom. So that's going to be a pretty solid trade right there for both sides. Just so how far aggressive this dire team is playing up. Off to the left, Enigma. Farm in the jungle is going to be found by Dark Willow, though. Caramel Maze put down. And then maybe try to kill some of the Eidolons at least. Can he deny? No. Chris is tanking this Eidolon damage. Right, eventually spawn some more, but can he kill the Centaur? Yes. Yeah, so mind game's coming out right there from Crit. Yeah, this CM set is something. It's decorated, man. Has the early Seder for the Banish. Grandma 
Crystal Maze. Crystal Maze walks around it. It's good to go. Doom sitting in that sandstorm, taking plenty of damage as the Hellbear Smasher devoured. He's not attack speed. Also giving him the Thunderclap. How about the Kobold taken over by Chen? So working on some speed to help with some harassment. Meepo, meanwhile, has been as that's a Dire Courier going down. Ramsey's losing his Courier up at the top lane. Good job by Sand King. Taking that away from him for now. Although it might come at a cost. Sentry goes down, he kills it. Is it enough? Yes, it is. He barely survives. Man, he had to kill that Sentry instantly with the Quelling Blade, and that he did. So well played there by Old Y. Very close call, though. Baby CPK is doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Well, that was weird right there. New Bear has been summoned. Chen with the headdress. Meepo in the jungle has the three Wraith Bands. It's uh, coming up to four minutes in the game, so no neutral items can spawn just yet. Now one more minute before that's the case. Uh-oh. Crystal Maiden having to walk through this Bramble Maze. It's not easy. Makes his way through, though. Hit by the Cursed Crown, but I believe he's fine. <laughs> you see Chen even using that, uh, that Harpy to... Zap him down. Ooh, that courier. Close. That was the mid lane going. 35 and 1, Meepo. It's been a little bit of jungling. Let's take a look at the net worth. And yeah, Meepo is actually winning this mid matchup by a little bit. I annihilate second overall in net worth still, but. Denied. Certainly advantage, Meepo. So five minutes coming up. Bounty room control as well as neutral spawns. The courier, old white, trying to kill it again. But Ramsey is just a good enough micro right there to keep it away. And EG manages to get three of the four bounty runes. Good control on their part. You see Meepo farming a little stack right here, hoping for an early neutral item that is. Yeah, is he going to get any? No. None yet. How's Enigma been doing? Looks like Helm of the Dominator is going to be the name of the game for Enigma. Uh, uh, uh. He's level 3 currently. Been farming his own jungle on the bottom side of the map so far. Dark Willow, Ring of Bassies picked up, and Vale of Discord's the idea next. Items? No. Still none. Radiant structures are Enigma's going to take over mid in the meantime. While Gyrocopter is rotating to the top lane, they're going to try to kill Doom. Not an easy kill, though. It's a little surprising here. Barrage in the face. Scorcher with active. He's pinging. He wants some TP support. There is finally somebody coming in. Is it too late, though? It's coming. Oh, man, he nets up Sand King, and Sand King gets a stun up, but it doesn't matter. He goes down. Ramsey survives, and now I Annihilate could be in trouble as well, Abed. He has another net. Going to poof in. There's the stun with the cursed ground, the net up as well, and Ramsey just runs away before he gets turned. They take out Gyro. Yeah, I, ugh. Trying to gank a full life doom right there with the Gyrocopter seemed very ambitious. And even with that TP taking so long to get in, Evil Geniuses will still be able to turn it. It just seems like one of those cases they didn't really kind of caught up in the heat of the moment what's going on, but you got to sit back and think, do, do we really have enough damage to kill this target? Clearly the answer was no. Oh, there's one. The broom handle picked up by Meepo. That's actually not bad. Got that attack range increase as well as the 12 damage and the 3 armor. 
kisses coming out. Chen, meanwhile, continues to harass here at the bottom as Abed, he also finds now a trusty shovel. Oh, Flea finds one on the other side. He's going to dig. Gets a kobold. What did Flea get? Oh, he got TPs. <laughs> Flea has five TPs now in his inventory. Yay. Our new heroes allowed now. Uh, Snapfire and Void Spirit are definitely not allowed yet. Crystal Maiden goes down to the bottom lane, by the way. It looks like Troll Warlord ends up just diving CM behind the tower. Bottom tower Takes her out. Attack. Some Royal Jelly now picked up by Annihilate. So more and more neutral items starting to pop up. <coughs> Radiance Bottom Tower has fallen. Looks like High Nelly, it's rotating towards the top lane. Drums queued up for him. They want to kill Doom badly, Ramses. Again, he just runs away. That's an epicenter from Old White. Didn't really get the follow up that he was hoping for, Costibile. He's in here with the bear, but he's not close enough to assist. He's just going to TP it out. I guess just bring it back to him. That was really awkward initiation once again. Like they, they do not like Ramses. <laughs> Unable to kill him. As Doom, it's not like he's very farmed either. He's got face boots and a wand, essentially. Mid lane, though, Chen. He went too deep, and Fly's going to be picked off. Can't forget about our TZ, however. It almost feels like Demon Slayer's has for now. He is slowly pushing this tier 2. Now they are rotating over. He doesn't have Battle Trance. I don't think he's holding a point. He could be in trouble, actually. Yeah, they're going to collapse. Centaur Stomp. Pearl Strike follow-up. The Entangle hits as well. There's a freeze in our TZ. All right. Biting off a little bit too much right there. More than he could chew. Without Battle Trance. In that far up, certainly a risky move. Dark Willow has that Ocean Heart in his inventory now. There's a 10-minute mark, so outpost control important. Sand King's coming over to take it, but it might take too long. Abed, he's running in. He nets him up. And now Abed looking to get the kill on a Sand King. He poofs on in. He's got the vision. He's got the kill. And he's going to take the outpost for himself. Well played. Top one also controlled by EG. So they get the experience bonus. The Radiant does not. And especially when you have a Meepo. That it almost that almost feels like similar to like an alchemist with bounty runes, right? Meepo just accelerating that much faster in levels now. God, he's gonna have an ethereal blade quickly. <laughs> he's already got the eagle song. Black hole. From Flea, on top of the call down. It's doing some decent damage. Hanagog comes out, though. They do lose crit. They lose Fly. And Ramsey's trying to run now. It's a great black hole from Flea. Ends up getting two. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Still looking at a 5,000 net worth lead right now. It's seven minutes for neutral items now. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, it is. Uh, that was a 7.23B. Okay. God, I love money. Well, thank you for clarifying. How am I allowed to cast? I know, guys. <laughs> Sorry. God forbid. I don't read every single patch note. Just came out a couple days ago. Anyways, that's something else. All right, so it's at seven minutes now. But still, point is, um, we do see, obviously, them popping out. And that, that actually makes sense because, yeah, it wasn't happening until around seven and a half, eight minutes. Didn't think uh, luck was that bad. Oh, 
Oh, Wooler with the Vlad's pickup, by the way. He does have Battle Trance now, and he's ERTZ. And again, just on the outskirts, they see him here, though. He's not being too sneaky about this. They're wrapping around. But Evil Genius is just going to run at them with Battle Trance. They feel pretty confident. He might need to use it soon. Off the rolling axes. Gets stunned up. He needs to use it. It's going to be close. He's waiting really to the last second. He finally pops it. The heal's not really there necessarily. Shwan, he's going to get stopped on this freezing field. Arteezy, another rolling axes, has team support. The Midnight Pulse is put down, but Arteezy will survive. The bait is real from Arteezy. Let me, let's be honest. He knew what he was doing all along. Living life on the edge as a troll warlord can do. The flat cannon can't finish him. And EG going to rotate right into the Roshan pit. That's an Aegis picked up, and now Enigma got a little too curious, apparently. He gets bursted down. Doom activated onto Gyrocopter. Cursed Ground going to stun him in place, and they will certainly chase this. I bet he catches the Sand King, at least Epicenter. Yikes. He dies before it even goes off, so that's now on cooldown. Doom finally wears off an Annihilate. He's still flying away. He doesn't have a TP, though. It got canceled earlier. He's just going to keep flying to... Uh, to no avail, it feels like. Costibile, he TPs out, says, you're on your own, buddy. I guess he has the bear here to help with the Savage Roar, but that's not going to do much. And they finally catch up to the Gyrocopter. So more momentum being built by EG. Now 11,000 network lead. Again, they have the Aegis on Meepo. Another 2,300 gold saved up. As you see this experience lead as well. And the wind chance, not surprisingly, looking pretty good on top of that. As another outpost taken by Evil Geniuses. We do have 30 seconds before that 15 minute mark. Pro Warlord, by the way. Battle Trance on cooldown. Wouldn't even matter there. He got caught in the black hole with the Midnight Pulse and Flea. Able to drop him. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Arteezy's team is busy pushing mid lane together. Black hole down. EG definitely feels a lot more confident about their chances. Good job. Man, that was perfect timer right there. They just get the outpost in time to get the uh, experience benefit. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So Lohendrid, he is working on the Sacred Relic and eventually the Radiance. He's trying to. He's still pretty far off, though. This Lohendrid hasn't necessarily... And the best of farm. Is Arteezy in trouble again? He doesn't have Battle Trance still. Mouth is stunned. Crystal Maiden trying to come in as well, but maybe going a little too deep is Demon Slayers. They still want the kill on Arteezy. They're not going to get it, though. Hand of God comes in. Another bait play from him. Goes to Bule. Pops true form running. Old Y. He gets his epicenter off, but not really doing the most damage with it. Really trying to scare Doom away, but that's not going to scare Ramses. Mojo of a man right there. Takes out Lone Druid. First crown hits Crystal Maiden. And CM is dead. <laughs> CM just bought back. Oh, well, this is why. What is happening? I annihilates it gets run into the base by Abed. <laughs> I, was like, I thought that was a rage bite back at first. No, he's actually trying to defend his fountain there from being dove. And Troll World, they're just going to push in the top Radiant rack. So Evil Genius is yet again looking like a pretty early victory at this rate, unless Demon Slayers can some way somehow slow this down. Troll Warlord, he's dead. Freezing Field, it does the damage. Poofs from Meepo, though. Ends up turning onto the Crystal Maiden. Abed, he's still trying to get out. He does have that Aegis. Worst case, the stun misses. He's going to be able to poof away. And Abed makes the escape for now. And never mind, he's going back in with others. He takes out Lone Druid. He's dead for another 30. <laughs> he just doesn't care, man. He is going to finally go down and pop the Aegis. Doom also goes down. You can tell Evil Genius is having a bit of fun right now with the situation. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance 
Radiance middle tower has been denied. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And now the shrine's exposed, EG. Take full advantage of that. Only 17 and a half minutes in you have to remind yourself it's still that early in the game. You got this Meepo level 16. Any other big neutral items that have popped up? So is it still at 15 minutes the tier 2 can spawn, right? So that didn't change, right? It was just the tier 1 starts at 7 minutes instead of 5. Either way, Dark Willow. Not going to be saved there. Actually buys back. Chris says we're still going. They lose Enigma. Enigma has a buyback. A black hole is ready, but they also lose Sand King. Doom cannot chase down. I annihilate, but they should be able to chase down Crystal Maiden. Can't feel a thing. And now Abed has a blink Radiance purchase. It almost feels like he's had a blink this whole time <laughs> with the way he's been playing, but now he's actually got a blink dagger to go with the Manta Ethereal Blade. Radiance bottom is under attack. He tried his best right there. <laughs> Sad trombone, that's appropriate. Manta dodge, Radiance unsuccessful. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks. Oh, no. Gyrocopter. Radiant's bottom barracks. No chance to fly away there. Again, they're trying to play on Doom, but he's got a pipe, he's got drums, phase boots. And oh, by the way, he's Doom. So, Mega Creeps have now spawned, and Demon Slayers may not want it to be so, but it looks like Evil Geniuses is on the verge of starting out 2-0-0 here in the group stages, and Demon Slayer is going to be 0-0-2. The Black Hole, the last ditch effort, here we go. It's not going to be stopped. The Hand of God, though, heals them up, and here's the response. Battle Trance activated from Troll. The range attacks, and Nygma's dead. Has a buyback, but with no Black Hole. What does that really matter? Same thing with Sankey, and they just call it GG. So they go for the last ditch effort, have some fun with it, but not to be. So Evil Geniuses, again, they do start 2 0 0. Demon Slayer's 0 0 2 on the other side of it. So Group B, day one finish for these two teams. And EG playing like we expected them to, looking very strong here after the first day. We'll see how they do going into gate, uh, day number two, that is. But uh, for today, for these two teams, it is complete. Uh, with Group B action, though, as mentioned earlier, we do have one more match on the docket that is set to happen, and that being NIP, Ninjas in Pajamas, versus We Dislike Bears. Uh, or Excuse me, I apologize. Uh, Ninjas in Pajamas versus No Escape Esports will be our final series of the night, and that should be getting set up now to be hosted. It looks like even the lobby just got created. So that's what's on board. Once again, I'm Breaky CPK. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast. We got uh, one more series to go, at least for the NA region for Group B, and then we'll see where uh, the night takes us from there. Day two going to be starting around the corner, of course, with some other regions as well, CI or SEA as well as China. So perhaps hopping over to there if uh, things finish sooner than later. But hang in there. One more series from Group B. Stay tuned. The Dream League Season 13 Major Qualifiers North American Region will continue next. Stay tuned. <laughs>